Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. We are so glad you are here today. Cha cha cha. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. We are so glad you came to play. Cha cha cha. There might be rain. There might be sun. We are going to have some fun. Cha cha cha. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. We are so glad you are here this day. Cha cha cha. Pete and I, we were just singing a really funny song about some fruits and vegetables. There were plums, 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 wiggling their thumbs in the store, in the store. There were plums, 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 wiggling their thumbs in the store, in the store. Hmm. Let's sing the ones with the beans. Hmm. There were beans, 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 Putting on their jeans in the store, in the store. Beans with jeans? <gasps> there were beans, beans, beans. Putting on their jeans in the store, in the store. What other fruit or vegetable could we use for a fun rhyme? Peas? Okay, let's try peas. What rhymes with peas? Mm, peas and Please, good idea. Let's see how we can, what we can make out of this one. Peace and please. There were peace, peace, peace. Signing, please. Okay. There were peace, peace, peace. Signing, please, in the store, in the store. There were peace, peace, peace. Signing, please, in the store, in the store. Let's have one more. Cheese? Well, cheese is not a fruit or vegetable, but cheese sounds like a fun idea. So, cheese. There was cheese, cheese, cheese. What rhymes with cheese? Knees. There was cheese, 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 walking on their knees in the store, in the store. There was cheese, 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 walking on their knees in the store. I am hungry. Wow, Pete, you must be growing again. Can we sing the soup song? We sure can. So you guys have to help us because we have to figure out what needs to go in the soup. I will put Pete right here because our song needs two hands. So what is the first thing we need to put in the soup? Carrots, good idea. Put carrots in the soup, put carrots in the soup. Stir slow round we go, put carrots in the soup. What else should we put in the soup? Potatoes. Okay. How many? Three. One, two, three. Put potatoes in the soup. Potatoes in the soup. Stir slow round we go. Potatoes in the soup. Ham. Hmm. Okay. Should we slice it first or should we put the whole thing in? Slice it. Okay. Slice the... Ham. Put ham in the soup, put ham in the soup, stir slow round we go, put ham in the soup. One more thing, what do you think is missing? Barley. Good idea. Okay, let's take a few handfuls of barley. Okay, here we Put barley in the soup, put barley in the soup. Stir slow round we go, put barley in the soup and give it a really good stir. And it's all done. Pete and I, we prepped a craft today around soup. So we are going downstairs and we hope you will join us. This week for our soup craft, I put a paper plate into our craft supply bag. We also will need some flyers. I also found some crayons, a scissors, and some glue in my house. We will cut out some ingredients for our soup and we will glue them on our plate. And if you feel like it, you can use your crayons to decorate your plate as well.
Wow, we found a lot of different things for our soup plate. Wonder what you guys found. So if you want to, you can always send me a photo of your craft to my email address. Pete and I, we will put my email address at the end of the movie. And a heads up for next week's craft, you will need an empty milk jug. So if you have an empty milk jug in your house, just keep it for next week. Pete, I want to tell you and you a story about soup. I will find my felts and we will get started. Once upon a time, a wise man decided to go on a journey. So he said goodbye to his wife. He packed a few things in his backpack and off he went to travel. He traveled all day and by the evening he was really tired and really hungry. He came to a village and he met some people. There are my people. I actually have more people. Let's put him here too. He said to the people, Hello, I am a traveler and I traveled all day and I am really hungry and I need a place to sleep. Would you share with me? So the villagers said, we would love to give you a place to sleep, but we do not have enough food for ourselves. We had a really bad crop this year. So the wise man said, I am sorry to hear that. Don't worry about feeding me. If you could just be so kind and get me a big pot and some water and I will boil some stone soup and we might have enough for all of us. The villagers were astounded. They're like stone soup and off they went to fetch him a big pot. Here we go. I found my big pot. And they got him some water and they put this in the pot. And then they started a fire under the pot. And when the water was boiling, the man added his stones to the soup. Here we go. One, two, three stones. And he was stirring his soup and he was smelling it. He started licking his lips. And he said to the villagers, hmm. If we would add a little bit of cabbage to that soup, it might smell even better. One of the villagers said, I have some in my house. I will get some cabbage for you. So off he went into his house and brought some cabbage. Here we go. In went the cabbage and the wise man was stirring the soup. Then he said, hmm, I think just a few potatoes would be awesome in the soup. One of the other villagers said, well, I think I have a few potatoes. And off he went home and brought back some potatoes. You're right. There they are. So the wise man added the potatoes into his soup. And he was stirring. Then he said, hmm. I think that stone soup would be extremely good if we could add some carrots to the soup and maybe some barley. Two other villagers went home because one of them had carrots in his house and the other one actually had some barley in his house. Everything was put in the soup and the wise man was stirring his soup. And while he was stirring the soup, he said, can you imagine if that soup would have a little bit of ham in it, it would be worthy for a king. So the old butcher of the town, he said, I actually do have a ham in my shop. I will go and get it. So off he went and found his ham. In went the ham into the soup. The smell was unbelievably good. All the villagers came together and they were laughing and they were sharing stories. And when the baker's woman was smelling all the good stuff, 
she actually went and she brought a loaf of bread. When the food was all done, they were sitting together, they shared an extremely good meal, and they had some leftovers. And that's the end of my story. I am ready for lunch. <laughs> you are. How about we say goodbye to our friends first? Good idea. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye to you. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye to you and you and you. Let's meet again. Come back and play next week Wednesday. Goodbye to you. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye to you and you and you. Let's meet again. Come back and play next week Wednesday. Goodbye to you. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye to you and you and you. Let's meet again. Goodbye to you. Goodbye.